Hey guys, as most of you know here at RC Juice, we will swap any plug on any battery for you guys free of charge. Uh, we have an order today with a customer who had ordered some batteries that came with Dean's plugs, requested XT60 plugs on them. So while we're at it, we wanted to make a quick video on swapping out a Dean's plug for an XT60 plug. Um, here at RC Juice, our favorite connectors are the XT series connectors, be it XT30, XT60, XT90s, uh, for a number of reasons. One of the reasons that we like these quite a bit, they're very easy to solder up cleanly. Um, on plugs like a Dean's plug, when you solder it together, you have to pay attention to how the wire is oriented. If you just go ahead and solder it, directly onto a wire without paying attention to what direction that connector is on, you'll solder it and then if this plug is turned around the other way, you need to rotate it to get it onto the other wire and then you'll end up with a lot of tension on one wire and sometimes your battery harnesses ends up looking pretty messy. So one of the cool things about the XT series connectors is the actual individual pins rotate. So if you did solder it on there and weren't happy with the position, you can just twist it. You can see this guy here. See if this will focus for you guys. These guys actually rotate in there, so it helps you to be able to make sure that your solder job comes out cleanly. So first things first, obviously, we need to remove the old plug. So you just want to take a knife, cut through the old heat shrink, of course, being careful. Don't cut yourself. And a first tip for you guys is to not remove the shrink tubing off of both connectors. One of the main things that you always want to pay attention to when you're soldering connectors is that you don't short out your battery at any point in time. So especially oops, on Dean's connectors, since the terminals are so close to each other, it's very easy for the soldering iron to move over while you're working on it. And if you touch both, then obviously you're gonna have a short situation. You can damage a battery, start a fire, it's all bad. So we wanna do everything that we can to lessen the likelihood of connecting both those battery leads together. So we have one side exposed. We'll take our soldering iron. Always wanna make sure you tin your iron. This is, we're starting with a clean iron here. See if you guys can see that. You get one wire off. Once the first one's off, again, always paying attention to where your other wire is. Tools also can short out connectors. You always want to pay attention to what you're doing. You can be here cutting on this connector, and if this tool hits down here, it can still short out. So you always want to be aware of where your other wire is. You can sometimes fold it back, keep it out of the way altogether, but make sure those wires stay away from each other. So same thing here, we're just going to remove the shrink tube. Be careful with the other connector because they can stay hot from the previous solder operation. We'll always clean off our iron, a little bit of solder to tin it. And now we have two exposed wires. So one of the other things that we always like to recommend is even though these wires are already tinned from the previous solder that was on here, sometimes the solder that's on there is a different composition than the solder that you're working with. And we often see where sometimes two different solders don't always mix that well. So even though this is tinned, it's not a bad idea to go ahead and tin this wire with a solder that you're gonna be using. That just helps ensure a nice, clean, easy solder joint. Uh, so we can use our handy solder jig here actually and put the wire through. And again, for this, we don't need a lot, but we just wanna go ahead and tin our iron, it's wire hot, and just a little dab is all we need. Hit our other wire. Again, careful with that other wire. You wanna pay attention to it. And there we go. Now our wires are prepared. Now we're gonna to wanna to do the same thing with our connector. We wanna make sure we tin it. So again, use our handy jig here. Tighten it up. 
We're going to rotate this guy for the next operation. It'll help if you put this in the right slot. You've got both a male and a female for each connector. We want to go on the male side here. So on XTs, this is always a semicircle shape. If you guys can see this here, get a focus on there. It's obviously easiest if we keep this facing up so we can work with it. So first step, want to tin the lead. Just a bit of solder in there. Don't need to go crazy. You can see there, a bit of solder in there. Now take our battery. Again, always watch where your wires are. So here we are, we're working with a negative cable. So first things first, don't forget to slide your heat shrink on first, otherwise you'll have to pull it back off. So now we have a tin connector, we have a tinned wire, and all we need to do now, see if I can keep this in the line of sight, the camera for you guys. Again, we're gonna clean our iron, we're gonna tin it for good heat transfer. Simply place this guy on top here. Some quick heat. And that's it. Nice clean solder joint. And now slide our heat shrink on. And one other thing to keep in mind when you have heat shrink on here, if you've got some heat shrink that fits real tight, you wanna let this cool off before you slide the heat shrink on. If the heat shrink is real snug to begin with and you slide it up, as soon as it starts hitting that warm solder, it might shrink down and it'll kind of lock up so you won't be able to slide it on all the way. On this one here, it's not a big concern since this heat shrink fits right over, but again, that's just something that you wanna pay attention to. And you definitely want to put this on before going to the other side to, again, lessen the likelihood of shorting out while you're working on the other side. So we want to rotate this side now. Again, so that's facing up. I'm going to take our iron. We're going to clean it. We're going to tin it. Now we're going to tin the connector. Just a bit of solder. Now we're going to take our positive battery lead. Again, put our heat shrink onto it. Rotate this guy around. Sorry guys, trying to make sure this stays in line of sight of the camera. And now that we're tinned, it should all flow together real easily. Just set her on top. Dab of heat. Hold it till it's solid. And that's it. I'll take it out of here. You can see a nice, folks up, nice uniform solder. Slide our heat shrink up. Take our heat gun here. And that's it. Nice clean install.